Deciding on, a, on the, the best treatment for sleep apnea can be very straightforward, but sometimes it becomes a little bit more complicated. If we're talking about a child, almost always tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy is considered first-line treatment and is usually curative. Things are much more complicated in adults. Occasionally, tonsillectomy is still the right answer if the adult has large tonsils that usually should be considered the very first step of treatment. However, if they don't have clearly enlarged tonsils, CPAP or APAP, which is applying positive pressure through a mask, is considered the gold standard and should be the first step in treatment. Other important treatment considerations include losing weight in the overweight patient, which is quite common with obstructive sleep apnea, uh, as well as consideration of um, uh, using an oral appliance or considering surgery in the patient who may not be tolerant of CPAP. Unfortunately, as much as 40 to 70 percent of patients who attempt to use CPAP cannot successfully acclimate to using CPAP, and that's why uh, both oral appliances and surgery are important options for those patients. So these are typically considered second-line treatments, but definitely uh, a treatment plan should be formed with the patient in terms of what we're going to try first and then what else we might try if first-line therapy does not succeed.